okay uh, once again here here with another theorem for you from your class 9 okay mathematics of triangle congruence of triangle and properties of triangle understand and in the previous statement already know according to the properties of triangle one theorem already we have discussed okay the sum of the two sides of a triangle is always greater than third side here just we are discussing another theorem okay just converse theorem and the converse theorem is that the difference of two sides of triangle the difference of two sides of triangle is always less than third side understand so here we have drawn a triangle for you here abc is a triangle and here abc is a triangle understand okay so in the triangle abc in triangle abc in triangle abc okay let ac is greater than av let ac is greater than av then we have to prove that what to prove? What to prove? AC minus AB is less than BC. That you have to prove. The difference between the two sides of triangle is less than that side. Okay. Understand? So here we have to do a construction for this. Is it? Okay. We have to do a construction for this. What is the construction? Let D be a point on the side AC, on the longer side AC, such that AD is equal to what AB and BD join, BD join. Understand? The construction is that let D be a point let D be a point on AC such that such that AD is equal to what? AD is equal to AV and BD join. BD is join. Understood or not? Okay. Is it clear? Let us prove. So here how to prove here? You see in the triangle ABD already according to the construction AB is equal to AD. So, ABD is a what kind of triangle? Isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. Okay. So, in the triangle ABD, since AB is equal to AD, according to the construction, two sides are equal. And we know if the two sides are equal, then angle opposite to equal side are equal. Yes or no? So, you can write the angle 1 must be equal to angle 2. Angle 1 must be equal to angle 2. Understand? Yes or no? In triangle ABD, in triangle ABD, in triangle ABD, look at here, and AB equal to AD as per the construction. So, angle 1 must be equal to angle 2. Angle 1 must be equal to angle 2 because the angle opposite to, what is the region? The angle opposite to equal sides are equal. The angle opposite to equal sides are equal. You can write the region here. The angle opposite to what? Equal side. Equal sides are equal. Understand or not? Is it clear? So one angle is equal to two angle. One angle is equal to two. Okay. Okay, then if one angle is equal to two angle, let us see, let this angle mark as angle 3. Okay, now let us see, in the triangle ABD, angle 3 is the next exterior angle. Okay, so in again you see clearly, again, if you see in triangle ABD, in triangle a, B, D. Yes or no? What are you finding? Three angle. Exterior angle. Exterior angle. Which angle? Three angle. Exterior three angle is greater than 
the remote inter angle okay the remote interior angle remote interior angle remote interior angle understand so three angle is greater than one angle so we got three angle is greater than one angle and one angle is equal to which angle two angle that implies three angle is greater than two angle three angle greater than two angle three angle greater than this is another point you are getting here this is another point three angle is greater than two angle understand okay is it clear now one second you see one second you see and in the triangle bcd bcd you see two angle is the exterior angle two angle is the exterior angle and lapo this angle is four angle is an remote interior angle so the according to the properties an exterior angle of a triangle is always greater than its remote interior angle or opposite interior angle one second you see in triangle in triangle bcd look at here the two angle again is greater than four angle understand why because the exterior angle exterior angle property this is the exterior angle property understand is it clear now you are getting another point here we are getting another point look at here suppose this is the point number this is point number 1 this is point number 2 this is point number 3 okay now from the equation 2 and 3 you see what are you finding here what are you finding three angle is greater than two angle and two angle is greater than four angle is yes or no look at here from the equation 1 and 2 you see from the equation 1 it is given that three angle is greater than two angle and two angle is greater than four angle so that implies three angle is greater than four angle three angle is greater than four angle understand three angle greater than what four angle so if three angle greater than four angle you see now bcd is a triangle yes or no and in this triangle three angle means which angle bdc angle or cd cdb angle is greater than four angle means which angle cb d triangle understand okay is it clear okay uh, let's write now let's see you see first of all we got what two angle three angle is greater than two angle from the equation one and two angle is greater than four angle and that implies three angle is greater than four angle and three angle greater than four angle means so what will happen the angle one angle in the triangle in the triangle b d c if three angle greater than four angle if two angles are on equal one angle is greater than the other angle then the side opposite to the greater angle is always greater yes or no yes or no so so what is the opposite side to the angle three which is the opposite side which is the opposite side clearly the side is bc so bc is greater than four angle which is the opposite side to the angle four clearly cd this cd side this cd side understand okay so cd and that implies cd is less than bc i can write i can write can i write yes okay very interesting concept we are discussing the properties of triangle inequality okay understand so here you see uh, cd is less than bc cd means what what is cd cd is equal to what total ac minus ad yes or no ac minus ad yes okay 
so here cd means you see now cd is equal to ac minus ad that implies ac minus and ad is equal to what ab is or no so cd means ac minus ad is less than bc that implies ac minus ad since ad side is equal to ab side so ab minus ac minus ab is less than bc thus it is clear that the difference thus it is proved that what prove that the difference the difference between the two sides of a triangle the difference the difference between the difference between the two sides of a triangle is less than third side is less than its third side third side understand students okay all of you is it clear so this is another important property is another important theorem we have okay and we discussed for you i hope you will follow it and you will practice it is it clear hope you will observe and you will practice it and you will so apply in verifying the different kind of problem is it clear okay let's see okay Okay thank you all of you